Okay, so originally what led me to change the part was uh, the check engine light was on. So everything's done. It's all hooked back up. And uh, I'm going to start it up. Alright, check engine light is off. Uh, there is another reason for disconnecting the battery. Whenever you have a when the car's throwing codes and you're going to fix it, um, when you disconnect the battery for 45 minutes to an hour, it generally resets those codes. And it might take a few minutes for them to come back. Now, being that this is a junkyard part, it was in pretty good shape. The car it came out of had low miles, and it was two years newer than this car, but nevertheless it's still out of a junkyard so I'm gonna take the car for a ride later and let's hope the, the light doesn't come back on um, and if it does isn't one of two reasons the part was no good or I put something <laughs> put something back together wrong which I don't think I did anyway um, if there are any uh, issues uh, I'll get back with you but I think everything's all fixed good luck and I hope this uh, video helps you out. It's tough out there. This uh, repair would have cost probably around $800 if you took it to the dealership. Um, by the time the bill was all said and done. And you'd be without your car for probably an entire day if not more. But anyway. Good luck.